Bravo. Magalie from France, you've done it. Congratulations. So we're en route to Rwanda for the Ironman Rwanda, Ironman, and um, our flight leaves at 3 o'clock in the morning. We're only allowed to board from like 1.40 a.m. But I came to the Bidvest Lounge, look at that, yeah, very cool. Uh, it's a good place to hang out and spend five hours waiting to board a flight early in the morning. When we land in Kigali, we have, um, I think it's about a three-hour drive to Rubavu. But very excited, uh, left this evening at 6 o'clock from East London, landed here at 7.30 and a long wait. But if you're going to wait, let's wait here. Hey guys, welcome to Kigali. This is our awesome driver. How you doing? Welcome. You good? Roland. Thank you for looking. Thank you for looking out. What's your name? I'm good, Roland. Roland. Hey Roland, thank you, my buddy. In the back, okay. DJ Storm. What's, What's up, up Storm? And head referee Cliffy Sanders. What's up, Cliffy? You good? Good, you're good, thanks. Alright, so Storm, this is the second year for you. You were here 29? 22. 22, eh? Yeah. And then you went here last year, and now you're back. Cliffy, you've been here every year, am I right? No, was here last year. So this is number three for you? Two. Number two for you, okay. Number two for me as well. Um, really cool to be back in Kigali. One of the things you'll notice about uh, Kigali is just how clean everything is. Everything is neat, everything is tidy. Really cool Rwandan people. Although I have to say, getting a SIM card <laughs> is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but also, um, the flight over wasn't wasn't the best flight. Well, I don't know. You boys, you obviously enjoyed your flight. No. But my flight was uh, was pretty crap. Um, yeah, they switched to a smaller plane, and all in all, it wasn't it wasn't great. However, lads, I do see a, a shop over there with the ability to buy something to drink. Buddy. It's my home. Yeah. <laughs> this is the 
the restaurant than our hotel. I gotta say, the hotel this year is a lot better than last year. Okay guys, so we are at the Bukatana Beach Resort and Hotel. Storm is here with me this year. It is Iron Man Rwanda, and uh, we got here after a very, very long drive, which you would have seen in the video. It was rough. How are you feeling good here, right? No, I'm tired, had a little nap, but now ready for a drink, ready for some food. Yeah. And ready for a big weekend, so. Yeah, we popped, down, we popped down to the race venue earlier just to go and have a look around and it's looking good. Yeah, um, up with the team. Team are looking good as well. Everyone's here for their slot allocation. Did you bring the tunes? Always. Always. It's in the hotel room right now. Uh, <laughs> and I bet he's been like fiddling around, eh? Yeah, laptop's been out. Yeah, been good. Going through tunes and everything. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have some supper. It's day one in Rwanda for us, although it feels like day 17. Day one. Because the drive here was, yeah, it was, it was intense. Supper right. time, drinks time, we'll chat in the morning. Okay, so one of the most important things you can do when coming to the Ironman 70.3 Rubavu Rwanda is get yourself some Pedro's coffee. Good morning. You're on camera. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Storm. He's taking Best some home with him, eh? Yeah, you'll, I reckon you'll get to customs for that. Hundred yeah. percent. Simon is the reason we're here for the coffee. Thank you, Simon. Absolutely. How you been, buddy? Excited. Did you survive your bike ride uh, this morning? My fourth one of the week. Uh, and, and yeah, well, I mean, you rode like, from <laughs> Kigali to here. Yeah, so. no, this is the fourth of this week without that lot. So, okay, um, okay. Yeah, so um, I, people keep dragging me out. Show me the route, show me the route. It's like, it's easy. Just go out and come back. Uh, I have one question for Yes, you. sir. One very important question for you. How did your drone work out? <laughs> I don't have much luck with drones. Um, the first drone I ever in invested in uh, was in Cyprus, and it doesn't have a rear sensor on drones. And on that, reversed into and it reversed into the rock, and I was at the top of the cliff, and it went into the Mediterranean Sea in Cyprus. So that was twelve hundred euros down the down the drain. Um, and then my second drone, which I thought was so exciting, and I'll bring it out, and it can it self fly and self follow got to Rwanda airport and um, there's a big sign there saying no drones <laughs> into the country um, or have a drone license or have a drone license um, not a pilot license but actually a serial for the dr drone itself yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll be collecting it on the way out don't worry I got something confiscated as well I won't say what because it's not a good thing but it, but I'll collect I'll be joining you same same place we'll be yeah, there yeah and one of our other athletes had a drone taken off them as well oh, so, all, right. <laughs> all right so it's not just you huh? no problems but no happy to be here awesome Hey guys, welcome to day two in Rwanda and we are getting ready for bike check-in. Uh, that's the next thing on the schedule. Um, we're going to get the athletes uh, bikes checked in and, uh, and then uh, tomorrow is all about race day. Uh, just behind me though, this is the finish line, the goal, the target here in Rubavu in Rwanda. It's going to be an amazing race. Hello guys, hello, hello. These are the best bike mechanics in the world. 
If you want your bicycle fixed, these are the guys to do it. Are you good? How sexy is that bike? So a little walk through the transition area is looking really, really cool. Um, bikes are getting set. On the other side is the swim start. That's where the guys start their swim tomorrow. But it's looking really good. It's such a cool vibe here this year. Really loving it. Like Saturday afternoon, everyone checking in the bikes and just you know getting ready for a big race day tomorrow. Everyone is very relaxed. The Rwandan people are just amazing. We absolutely love the Rwandan people. They're so kind. And, Everyone's very helpful and yeah, it's great to be here. This is my second time here in Rwanda and I'm loving it. Very multinational race this year as well. A lot of people have come here looking for a slot for Marbella next year. Sappers, how you feeling? Fantastic. Morning, morning. Come on, Kenya. Oh, that's good. That's just my little bit. Yeah, good for you guys. All right. Good, good, good. Come on. You might recognize that guy. That's Steve Battle. That is. Hello, Stevie. What's happening, bro? Yeah, good, good, good. Morning everybody, welcome to the shores of Lake Kivu in Jaseni in Rubavu in uh, beautiful Rwanda. Uh, it is race day and behind me you can see athletes are getting ready for their race. It's going to be an amazing day. We've got so many beautiful people from so many places around the world and a lot of Rwandan athletes that are here to come and enjoy their country and host the world for a bit of swim, bike and run. We kick off at eight o'clock this morning. It is now 12 minutes past seven, so not long to go. And then it's all go, go, go. Let's do this. Go, go, go! Super 
Freude bei. Marcus here, well done Marky Mark. Come on Mark, down the finish line you go. Well done sir. Come on, put your hands together, let's welcome Mark. Oh, down the finish line. Go, 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 go.